and Paraguay! Clara Sosa, the Miss Grand International winner from Paraguay, fainted after being crowned on 19th March, 2023. KKL News meteorologist Alyssa Carlson was about to start her weather forecast when she fainted. In May 2013, Gibril Basilei, the then foreign minister of Burkina Faso, collapsed during a news conference in Ankara, Turkey. On 14th April 2021, the head of Denmark's medicines agency, Tanya Eriksson, fainted during a press conference. This video shows a Nigerian who fainted on her flight via Turkish Airlines. She was getting attended to medically by some of their staffs amidst some people. All of these incidences have a common first aid approach known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. How well do we know of this? And what are the proper steps needed so we can save lives in situations like these? Let's go to the streets of Lagos to hear the views of others. CPR is a way of resuscitating people when they are unconscious. We normally do CPR but when sometimes when people get electrocuted, sometimes when people get hit suddenly and they collapse. So sometimes when people lose uh, they lose consciousness to the one or two illness, probably someone falls from a from a height. So we need to be able to resuscitate them back to so it's one of the first things to do when someone gets injured or when someone is not in the good health condition. Some time ago, I was coming from somewhere and um, I saw where everywhere was kind of crowded. Then I, I went, moved closer, and I saw that there was somebody that fell on the ground just all of a sudden. And then somebody just came to the rescue and he started giving the mouth, the person mouth to mouth and um, resuscitation. Yeah. Right now, I'm coming from the hospital where. They are taking care of my mom. Because this thing happened two days ago where my mom collapsed. He was doing some uh, homework according to the people around. So he just finished it. Then he was in the at the entrance to enter. She just collapsed. And somebody from the church from the other side now saw her. Then they quickly tell the other people around they rushed to him, I mean to her, and sit her down on the chair for a while. Then they now call on us. So we have to go down and come and take her to the hospital. Because actually, I've not experienced it before and I don't know uh, how it is. And even the people around, they don't know what to do. All what they are trying is just hospital, hospital, hospital. Uh, in fact, I've lost a friend like that to this one at the time. And he was playing basketball. So I could imagine if other people in the basketball courts could give CPR, he would have still been alive right now. There was one that happened on a football um, mini pitch somewhere in Lagos, yeah. And the person also died because people around there could not administer CPR. And we've seen um, cases of heart attack to yeah, during football matches in Europe because somebody there could give CPR, the person survived. So I think it's something that is very important. Yeah, the training is actually good for everybody. It's good that everybody has this knowledge because it could have actually happen to anybody at any time. And it would be good if you have the training and you are in a scene where that is happening. So you're able to you're able to help at a particular time. You actually you don't need to be a medical doctor or a nurse before you can actually administer that. If you have the training, you have the knowledge on how to administer it. So it's actually good for everybody to have the training, to have a knowledge of it. It's good. Yeah, definitely. I think it's it's a good thing. I don't think um, CPR education is something that is common in this part of the country or in this part of the world, right? And but then again, I think it's essential that everyone should know you know, basic education about CPR, so if there is something that happens in your presence, you can probably act fast, right? You can probably save your life, right? So yeah, it is, it is definitely a good thing, and I'm, I'm up for that, yeah. With my own experience, I've seen a lot of death that has happened in such a, uh, uh, when there is nobody to help to resuscitate the, the person that is involved, the person that is involved. So I think it's a very good development if everybody, I know if everybody, every organization has the knowledge of this. There can be an emergency at any time, so everybody needs this training. You don't know if it's your family, your friends, anybody. If you have that kind of um, um, project 
that you want to you know give back to the to the society by training more people to have an idea of how to resuscitate people in such situations. I think it's really going a long way to help people. You understand to give people that knowledge of what and what of what CPR means and how helpful it should be for the society at large. The good news is such project is coming to your doorstep. Franamolo Global Concept, in conjunction with Subtle Salt Foundation, brings to you Fine Line Project. This is a basic life support, CPR and AED empowerment program. It is a triannual project, so you'll never miss out a whole year. Now, here is the most interesting part. It is absolutely free to register for the oncoming program. Simply log on to www.subtlesalt.com. For contact and enquiry, call us on the numbers displayed on your screen. You can also reach us on our social media platforms.